also wanted to document your pajamas. <laughs> He's got Homer Simpson pajamas. That we actually, I bought these pajamas. That's right, I know. And the reason is because this man's name is Simpson, and uh, there were people in our childhood friend group who called him Homer, which he liked. So. <laughs> what do you mean I liked? Well, they, somebody gave you a Homer Simpson doll, which you put in a prominent. I think it's very place funny. of honor. <laughs> In the kitchen. I think so. It was very funny. Yeah. Well, I can enjoy a joke. Well, yes, and it's also in a joke of endearment. Of course, yes, that's the yes, point. yes. So that's why I got you the Homer Simpson oh. pajamas. And it's, you know, it, it's great that you wear them. <laughs> the storm is just a, has been downgraded. It's not a dramatic hurricane. We're just having a rainy, windy day. It's a tropical storm. Uh, tropical, yeah, tropical storm, not a hurricane. Yeah. But the uh, the surge hasn't happened yet. High right. tide is 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. So we'll know more then. Yep. I wasn't sleepy at all. I, I just lie in bed there for the longest time. Mm. Wide awake. Yeah. I think. If you're, my thought is a feeling of anticipation, of like, what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to wait up and see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, okay, all right. Right, yeah! Waiting out Irene. Checking out the aftermath. A lot of leaves. On. So during the storm, we heard this like. Oh, can you make the sound? It was like. <laughs> it was a big, big cracking sound. And um, Millie's looking at me like, "What are you thinking?" Um. Anyway, we think we know what it was. There's a tree. You can see it kind of through here. It's down, like it's uprooted entirely. Can you see that root fall and then the whole trunk going through the woods there? So that whole tree just fell and it's actually in the woods behind our house. It's right next to our, near our house. Luckily falling in the opposite direction. It wouldn't have hit our house anyway, but that's a big tree that came down. We should chop that up and have firewood from that. Yeah. Refugee. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's been her goal in life to harbor refugees. <laughs> That's all she's ever wanted to do. Especially. She really knows where going. Yeah. Well, she thinks maybe you're taking her with. No. Okay, dear. Oh, again. Wow. Take care. I'm about to go to bed. It's Sunday night. And I thought I should just talk for a second about not just leaning into the plants for no reason. I'm closing the windows.
anyway, I thought I should talk for a minute about tomorrow because I'm nervous. I had my first sort of follow-up with my oncologist since I finished treatment, except for the uh, pill, daily pill. For those you don't know, I just finished treatment for <clears throat> breast cancer. I had a mastectomy. I had 16 chemo treatments, 25 radiation treatments, and now I'm on a drug, tamoxifen, for the next five years. And um, I've noticed that my remaining breast is lumpier, and I'm afraid that there's cancer there. It's just, it's probably nothing, but um, it's just a terrifying thought to start this roller coaster ride over again in whatever form it would take the second time around. And so I see my oncologist tomorrow, and I'm equally afraid that she'll say, oh, it's nothing, and I'll feel that she hasn't really checked thoroughly. Or she'll say, hmm, I think you should get a mammogram. Those, both of those things frighten me. So my computer crashed the day before the hurricane. So I can't blame it on the hurricane. So I'm at the Apple store trying to get it fixed. And I have an appointment. We'll see how it goes. I, um, saw my oncologist. She did a thorough exam and said nothing to be worried about. So that was, that was a relief. That was, that was a better case scenario than I feared. I was worried. I think it's like a post-traumatic stress thing. You just constantly think you're about to go through the same thing again, you know? But it expired two weeks ago, my insurance for my computer. And this man is extending it for, to cover. <laughs> Yay. Everyone cheer, Jason. Well, the battery's almost dead on this, and I just got home from my doctor's appointment and my doctor's appointment for my computer, <laughs> and um, to discover that now we have no electricity, and in fact, my husband heard that our whole entire town is without electricity, and there are a lot of down power lines, so I'm thinking they like just shut it all off so that nobody gets hurt. Check out the dam.